subscribe to simplified biology channel and press the bell icon to get notified when a new video is uploaded hello friends welcome to simplified biology today's topic is abscisic acid a plant growth regulator abscisic acid a plant growth inhibitor was discovered by three independent researchers separately and each of them named gave them a separate name it was referred as inhibitor b abscission 2 and dormin later it was seen that these substances were chemically identical It was isolated by Frederick Adicott from cotton balls. Abscisic acid is formed by oxidation of carotenoids and it is synthesized in all parts of the plant but mainly in the chloroplast and is translocated by diffusion through the xylem and phloem. Physiological effects and uses of abscisic acid. Abscisic acid is a plant growth inhibitor and inhibitor of plant metabolism. It specifically inhibits shoot growth by inhibiting cell division and cell elongation. While it has no effect on root growth. It has no effect on root growth. Next, it induces bud dormancy, means preventing the buds to sprout so that premature growth of the buds is prevented during winter as they can be destroyed by the frost. Or severe cold conditions. Third, it causes abscission of flowers and fruits. Abscission that is falling off of flowers and fruits by forming the abscission layer. Next, it induces seed dormancy. Seed dormancy means preventing the seeds to germinate. Seed is a product of sexual reproduction. And it is a means of dispersal of plants to the various places. In case of annuals and biennials, they are mainly responsible for survival of the plants. They are mainly responsible for survival of plants as in annual and biennial, the plant dies. The only part that is left behind are the seeds which can then grow into new plant. Now by inducing seed germin dormancy, it helps in seed development and maturation. thus preventing premature germination of seeds. So this shows that it is an inhibitor of seed germination and by inhibiting seed germination it allows the seeds to tolerate 
extreme conditions like desiccation that is dry conditions and extremes of temperature. Abscisic acid is a stress hormone. Under conditions of stress or you can say during drought conditions when there is scarcity of water abscisic acid is produced which is translocated to the guard cells where they interfere in the uptake of potassium ions by the guard cells. As a result, the osmotic pressure in the guard cell decreases. The guard cells, they lose their turgidity, hence causing partial closure of stomata. So preventing loss of water due to transpiration or the transpiration rate is decreased. That is why it is also referred as an anti-transpirant. That is it is capable of decreasing the rate of transpiration by causing partial closure of stomata by interfering in the uptake of potassium ions by the guard cells. Next, it causes senescence of leaves. Senescence means aging. It causes senescence of leaves by stopping the synthesis of RNA and protein in the leaves hence stimulating aging. Due to decrease in the synthesis of RNA and protein, first yellowing of leaves occur and then they fall off from the plant. And last, it is an antigebralin, means it is antagonistic to Gibralin or it inhibits or opposes Gibralin induced growth. So these are the physiological effects of abscisic acid. That's all for today. Please do like, comment and subscribe and also visit our website by clicking on the link given below. Thank you. Thank you for watching.